Sierra Space, the company developing a new space station called Orbital Reef alongside Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, just blew up a small prototype for an inflatable astronaut habitat. Worry not, space habitat enthusiasts, as the explosion was intentional and it was carried out to make Orbital Reef as safe as possible. The company conducted what it calls the Ultimate Burst Pressure Test UBP, as part of the development of Orbital Reef which is one of several privately developed successors to the International Space Station that have been funded by NASA. The inflatable habitat prototype, called Large Integrated Flexible Environment, or LIFE, stood in for a specific module of the orbital reef station during the explosive test. The recent test constitutes the second time Sierra Space has purposefully blown up a habitat module prototype. In the flame trench of a Saturn 1 and 1B test stand at the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. In other words, the orbital reef station tests took place in the same area where NASA tested rockets for the Apollo Moon program in the 1960s. Sierra Space says that initial analysis of the test shows that it was a success. The prototype was required to survive above the burst pressure of 182.4 pounds per square inch set by NASA. The U.S. Space Agency contracted Sierra Space to blow up the two prototype modules this year, each of which is smaller than the ones that will eventually be deployed on Orbital Reef. Last year, NASA announced three contracts for private space firms totaling $415 million to develop U.S.-operated successors to the International Space Station. Aside from Orbital Reef, it is also helping to fund space station projects led by Northrop Grumman and NanoRacks. The space agency made the call for new space station projects over concerns that the ISS is functioning on aging technology. Now, this year's two UBN tests are out of the way. Sierra Space now plans to carry out burst tests on full-size habitat prototypes next year. The company aims to eventually carry astronauts to and from the orbital reef station using its in-development dream chaser spacecraft.